So what do young parents do? Who's actually looking out for us anymore? Politicians are making it harder to be awesome. They're teaching our kids that America is evil, and instead of protecting our kids online, they're protecting the porn companies. Screen time's up, Bob. And now, they're trying to destroy our daughter's sports by allowing boys to compete against them. So what are we as parents to do to help stop this madness? <laughs> we do what every other group does. We organize and we engage in politics. Who's looking out for America's families? Seniors have the AARP, and gun owners have the NRA. Nice aim, Max. But where do families turn when politicians are causing them problems? They turn to American Principles Project. We're the only group organizing parents and families to help elect good pro-family politicians and unelect the bad guys. We think that politicians should pay a price when they hurt families, and we want to protect the good pro-family guys from all of the anti-family organizations out there. If you love being a dad, or a mom, or even if you just care about the American family, then join APP today. We're organizing parents to make it easier to get married, have babies, and protect our kids. Elections are important. They determine the future of our country. And we've got to save America. But in order to save America, we've got to save the family. Joining us now to talk about the big families, Terry Schilling of the American Principles Project. Thanks for joining us, Terry. Hey, thanks for having me, Chris. So first, congratulations on your awesome family. What was it like putting together that ad? It was a lot of fun. Uh, we actually uh, wrote it together as a family. Uh, I had to build in little little spots and take in my kids' personality types uh, for all the different roles that they had. Um, but it, you know, it was all based off of this uh, ad that the Cheerios uh, that Cheerios did back in 2013. It went super viral, and I thought, well, if Cheerios can use this to sell cereal, let's sell this. Uh, use uh, fatherhood to uh, sell politics and sell the American family. And, and that's what we did here. And, and our goal with this big family project, it's, you know, we want to organize parents and families in politics to save the country and save their families. But ultimately, what we want to do is make the family the most important special interest group in D.C. You know, when you're in this town for long enough, everyone's got a special interest group. Everyone's got a political action committee. There's big oil, big tech, big business, all of that. But politicians care about one thing and one thing only, and that's their re-elections. And we want to make politicians pay a price when they hurt families. And, and ultimately, that's, that's how we're going to make the, uh, the family the most important special interest group. So what are the big projects that you guys are interested in focusing? I'm sure there's a ton that you could go over, but give us a quick overview of what you're most excited about. Well, I'm most excited about our, our efforts to change the education system, right? If you're a parent today, you feel totally powerless and helpless when it comes to the schools your kids are stuck in, the curriculum that they're learning. You know, you've got this critical race theory garbage that's in every school. You've got 1619. You've got this transgender sports stuff. And you really don't know what to do. Well, we need to get school choice done. And the only way to get that done is to organize families in politics to make politicians get unelected when they oppose school choice. So we're very excited about fighting critical race theory in 1619 and really giving parents that power back, that power over their kids' education. Uh, it's so important, and um, that's probably the biggest initiative that I'm most excited about with this new project. So how does your role as a father, uh, how does that inform your politics, and how did that motivate you to get the big family project started? Well, it's very simple, Chris, is, you know, I'm a dad today, I've got five kids, and um, it's tough. Uh, but it's not tough economically. Uh, I mean, it is tough economically, I shouldn't say that it's tough. But my biggest job, my biggest challenge is protecting my kids and their innocence. You know, we've got uh, a society that's been built solely around adults. And our society was never built like that before. It used to be centered around protecting kids, around protecting and, and, and advancing the next generation of Americans. And somehow or another, uh, we, we started reversing course. So you look at our schools and our kids are learning that America is evil, that their grandparents are racist, and as well as their parents. Um, you look at online pornography and kids have access to porn sites uh, without any age verification. Um, and our politicians tell us just to be better parents. And we want them to be better politicians. We want them to be looking out more for our families and protecting us against, against all, all these uh, cultural influences that want our, our kids' minds. So you know, the thing that's always kept me up at night is uh, protecting my, the innocence of my kids, protecting them from this racial agenda that's being forced on them. And um, so that's primary motivation is, you know, I'm just a regular dad uh, doing what every other dad does. And 
I'm seeing these threats that are coming into our home. And, you know, I, you're seeing parents across the country really start to stand up and, and, and fight back against this. But they only know about 10 percent of what's going on with their kids. We want to educate them about the other 90 percent. And we want to make sure that they're fired up and ready to go to, to take back power. I'm really glad you're taking charge on this because often it feels like children and parents, young families can be a forgotten constituency. Um, we'd love to have you back on in a few months to give us updates on how that program is going. But until then, how can viewers find out more information or get involved themselves? It's very simple, Chris. You just go to savethefamily.app. Uh, it's very easy to remember. Uh, we're starting off with a great deal. We're asking people to give $25 a year for membership, and we're going to keep you energized. We're going to keep you engaged. We're going to keep you educated. And here's the really cool thing is we've been hosting a series of family meetings, as we call them, with important and key elected officials. We have one coming up this Monday with Senator Tom Cotton. We're going to be discussing critical race theory and its legislation that will help parents take back control of their education. But we want parents and families involved in these discussions. We want them knowing about this and being on the front lines. And we want them telling us uh, the issues that they're facing when it comes time to it. So savethefamily.app is where you go to sign up. And we will get you engaged and, and rocking and rolling very quickly. Thank you so much for joining us, Terry.